All right, today's session is about injury prevention for kids who play sport, but not necessarily outside, but it's the sports that require a lot of change direction and running. So these are warm-up drills to help the injury prevention so they don't get injured during the game or at practice. So we're gonna run through quite a few things. The first one is gonna be the leg warm-ups. Now the first one is A-skips. So where you go, see. Now this is working on getting those hip flexors fired up, okay? A lot of drills like this are really helpful to try and warm up hip flexors, warm up the hips, make sure there's no injuries through the front. Come on back. And so they need to do a couple of lengths at least. I would go for four lengths of this, trying to work on staying on their toes, getting your knee up to that 90 degree hip angle. Okay, second one is hamstring flex. Where you go, see? And so this one here, she's trying to get her heels up to her backside as high as she can, which is really going to fire the hamstring. And that's really important in these sort of drills. Come on back. Uh, the key with this one is to go slow, okay? So it's a slow jogging, working on the hamstring load, not necessarily working on how fast you can go. All right, number three is your adductors. Now this is really important, especially for soccer and rugby. We're trying to get the inside groins warmed up. Best one to do is these side skips, up and back, facing the same direction, making sure they don't click their heels together. And then the last one is your grapevines. So try and do the grapevine for me. Soon. This is quite hard for kids. They've got to have their hands wide. They're trying to face one direction, one foot in front of the other. They've got to go reasonably slow so they don't click their heels together again. It's back again. And you're looking for trying to make sure they stay on their toes, stay on a straight line. This is really good for their coordination as well. So that's your sort of four leg warm ups before we hit the agility stuff. Yeah! The first of the agility ones is using a running ladder to do side steps. Now if you show us what we're doing here, this one they're trying to land on their toes, they're trying to go quite wide with the side step. They start off slow, you don't want them doing any sort of tick-tocking, I'll show you what I mean. So they don't want to be going in and out of the square like this, they want to be moving their whole body in and their whole body out. So you've got to make sure that that leg goes in and the other leg follows and then they go outwards. And they're trying not to race this one, try that again. You're trying to go reasonably slow to get the control because this is about knee control, landing on the foot, making sure they're doing this one correctly. It's really important to set them up for the next agility drill over here. Okay, things you've got to watch with this one is making sure their foot placement is correct. So come over here. So when they land into the square, they want to be making sure they're landing facing the ladder. Okay, they don't want to be landing like this because the whole idea about this is knee control. Because if she's going to sidestep in a sport, she want to face that way because she's going to go in that direction. So she's coming here to go that direction. If she's facing this way, she has to rotate through the knee to get there. So it's really important that we have that foot facing that way. And she's landing on her toes, not landing on a heel. Because if she lands on her toes, she can pivot well on that. If you land on heel, you can't pivot as well. The other thing you want to look at with the knee is making sure that's sort of reasonably facing in a straight direction, not crashing image. If you notice that, you know there's going to be some hip glute work that she needs to work on, which is in that other video I showed you before. So that's the ladder. The second thing is the hurdles. And the second one is bounding. Now for kids I like calling this the bunny hop because what we tend to find is if they do do jumping over hurdles they tend to land and stop. We want to keep them continuous but there's a few things we want to work on to try and get them warmed up for impact and that explosive fast twitch movement they need in sport. So landing on their toes is quite important. We want to have a small hurdle, don't have it too high, you're just trying to get them bounding and leaping. Two things to think about when you're doing bounding is to try and make sure that their feet are apart and their knees are apart. A lot of kids start off with their feet together and they start off with their knees together when they jump and their knees together when they land. Now you want to make sure if you see that, you're trying to say, okay, you can bunny hop through those hurdles, but you've got to keep your knees out like that and your feet out, okay? As well as making sure their feet are straight and not out to the side. So that's a really important one for trying to make sure they can do the exercise correctly because that'll lead to better things down the track. Okay, the last agility drill is the cones. Now, there's two parts to this. One is shimmy, what I, call, what I call shimmy, and one is sidestep. First one we show you is the shimmy. Now this is, she's running around the cones, but she's what I call shimmying, meaning she's gonna be facing forward the whole time, not actually turning her body. And this is really good for the ankle and knee control. So try that for me then. So she's gonna run around the cones, but if you notice, she's facing forward the whole time. So it's sort of like a sidestep, but she's not really sidestepping because she's jogging around the whole time. Okay, and you can do a couple of rounds of that. Okay, the second one is to try and sidestep in between the cones. So this one, she wants to go as fast as she can, and sidestep one leg, plant it, and go to the other cone. So if you try that for me. So she's gonna sidestep, bang, plant it, plant it, plant it, 
and plant it. Now, with all those ones, you've got to again have that foot facing forward. What you're watching for is making sure that knee doesn't roll in when she plants. The last thing you want to do is have that foot planted and have that knee rolling in. So that's something you can have a look at when you see these kids is trying to get their knee out like that. But it is an indication that there's a bit of weakness here. So once she's got the idea that she's got to sidestep and land, she's got to then go and push off at the same time. So it's like a bounce onto that toe. So this one, she's going to try and land, bounce, 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 which makes it a much more aggressive side step, but she's got to make sure that that knee control is right. So don't go to that stage where they're really aggressive until they have that knee control right. Once those kids have got all those three components sorted, they want to string it all together into one drill. So that goes from the run ladder to the hurdles, into the cones and repeat. And I'd go through about six or seven rounds of that for each player. Okay, so there you go, pretty simple stuff, pretty easy drills for kids, and it doesn't have to be soccer, it can be rugby, basketball, tennis, netball, any sort of court sport or grass sport that involves change direction and running. And it's really, really good to do before the training. So about 15 minutes worth of that before training and 15 minutes or 10 minutes before a game. See how you go with that, see you next time.